And certainly uh, Tulsa fought, stayed in it for a long time, but uh, just a great team effort, I thought, tonight. A lot of outstanding individual performances, and when you look at 27 assists on 33 field goals, that says a lot about how you played as a team. Absolutely. A three, three to one assist to turnover ratio. Meanwhile, they're nine assists and 15 turnovers. So we have 10 more baskets, um, and uh, we out rebound them by nine. So. Uh, they, they, they played really well at the beginning of the game, and then once we got it to 19, they played really well again. Um, but all in all, other than those two spurts for them, it was, a, it was a tremendous team effort for us. Austin Reeves was incredible shooting the ball in the first half. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the team was 0 for 11 <laughs> from three in the first half. And just, you know, we've got to get Landry and Connor and, and those guys going. Zach Brown hit a big one in the second half. Austin cools off, but we were able to go inside. Shaq. Daryl Willis, and when they were missing, it was Rashard Kelly or somebody on the offensive glass. You know, I, I, I'm sorry, Dave, I was going to say, I, I thought Shaq played with as much energy as we've seen from him maybe ever, I mean, in terms of not just scoring when he got the ball around the block, but really going to the offensive boards in the first half, blocked a couple of shots, and, and uh, you know, just kept balls alive and a lot of things tonight. Absolutely. Uh, you know, he's capable of, of that and uh, just how long he can do that because he, s he seems to get tired a little bit after about three, three and a half, four minutes. So, But the good news is we've got Rondo Nerger and Daryl Willis and, and a lot of guys that can um, can sub for him and, and, and keep it going at a, at a high rate of efficiency. And your big guys not only can score and rebound, but your big guys can uh, make the assists also. Your big guys, including Zach Brown, 16 of the 27 assists. Yeah, Kelly has four, I mean, excuse me, eight. Um, Brown, Zach Brown, five tonight. Um, gosh, you know, that's that's tremendous. Shaq, how many did Shaq have? Only one, but no turnovers for Shaq. Uh, 27 to 9, 3 to 1 assist to turnover ratio for a team is hard to beat. And you're averaging 9.5 turnovers <coughs> per game in eight of the last nine ball games, and you're not getting hurt on those turnovers. You're not giving up easy baskets on those turnovers. Yeah, we, we outscore them 21 to 13 in points off turnovers and 28 to 18 in points in the paint. 22 to 14 on second chance and our bench tonight <laughs> 51 to 4. <laughs> yeah that was something that you mentioned on your coaches show a couple of weeks ago uh, I mentioned you out rebounded all but one opponent your bench had outscored all but one opponent and that was the one you said that you had the best chance of, of continuing because of your depth this year. Yeah we got a lot of depth a lot of quality depth and um, you know I thought Rano played well in his yeah, minutes tonight he, he, he gave us um, some good minutes and um, seven rebounds in only 14 minutes but somebody told me mike uh, actually the television folks um jen said we had won 700 games now in this building did you know that i knew that was coming up i had actually kind of forgotten that but yeah how many how many have you seen like 680 <laughs> pretty close <laughs> yeah <laughs> called called 600 hey, I, you know i gotta admit well i gotta admit i didn't have tickets back then but i was <laughs> i was like seven years old when they opened this yeah. place so i could have seen yeah, all yeah. of them potentially I, yeah, i've been i've been around <laughs> for a few anyway <laughs> you've created not, a few not as many as you <laughs> Well, this would, this has to be a pretty good feel-good week, these two wins. Uh, and, and you mentioned Landry and, and Connor, and we know they're going to snap out of it. When they shoot the way they did between them in two games this week and you still win both of them by 19, that's pretty significant that you're not that dependent on any one. No, we're players. not. We, we, and I don't think we have been, but it's a lot easier when those two sharpshooters are knocking in a good percentage of their of their threes. But and tonight they go 0 for 11 and we still win by 19. And you can tell you've got great composure and that's you've got upperclassmen because the lead goes from 19 to 4 and they don't buckle, they just build that lead back up. Well, I, yeah, I was a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> a little anxious over there. We, okay, let's get, get this going again. And, and uh, uh, Kelly, excuse me, uh, Brown hit a big three and, and we got some tremendous stops. I thought uh, we frenzied the ball screen one time and, and uh, Austin Reeves made a wonderful steal and got us going in transition. So, good team win tonight, and um, you know we'll have to we we'll have to take tomorrow off. That's our mandatory day off. We'll get back after Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll head to Philadelphia and see if we can take our show on the road. And I was going to mention this this league has some kind of quirks in the schedule at times, just because of the kind of unbalanced schedule and so forth. And you really haven't had a, a long stretch in conference yet, but you get that one game on the road this week, you can kind of concentrate on, then you don't have a weekend game. So you've got a little spacing here that you can uh, kind of concentrate on Temple and then whatever's next. Yeah, no, no weekend game next weekend. So we right. play Thursday and then we don't play again until the next Tuesday at Memphis. Wow. So.
Yeah, that'll be. I don't think I've ever, in in all of my years of coaching, had a weekend off. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This will be the first. We'll enjoy. I'll have to figure <laughs> out what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right, coach. Thank you. Thanks, Shocker guys. head coach Greg Marshall.